Welcome to our channel, RV the Bus. Sorry about the mess. So, this is like what it will end up looking like. And we'll basically have some wires that connect from the Arduino up to the each relay board. So there's eight eight outputs that it'll that this controller will basically turn these to turn on and off. And there will be some logic in here, like if the living room light is on and somebody hits the button to turn off the center row, don't turn off the center row in the living room because somebody's in the living room. Stuff like that. Because otherwise depending on what buttons get pressed, everything will get out of sync and that'll be annoying. So doing switches puts you in that predicament, but having something that can control it with what's called a conditional, if then else, uh, you know, if living room is on and center row is pushed, then don't do this. Um, so this is what it'll end up looking like eventually. And we'll have all of our wires our outputs, that big harness that I showed you that's coming out of our closet, those will all come into here and allow us to jump onto these boards here. Um, so this is like my mock-up. So when you do electronic stuff, you have something like this, this guy right here, this white guy, this is called a breadboard. And what it allows you to do is it allows you to use these little jumpers and temporarily plug into here and then plug onto the breadboard and yada, yada, yada. So I just have something simple right now. So I basically have all these wires from my digital in my digital input outputs. Those are all going to the relay boards. And right now I just have one, this purple guy right here going to an input. My input is a little button right there. And you can watch the relay board. When I hit this button, it turns the red light on on relay one. And what that does is when I push this button, the relay will turn on. This relay connects 12 volt to an LED source, AKA turning on the light. So what we basically have to do is we have to turn this mock-up into the final version. And the final version, maybe we need to take it out. Maybe we need to work on it, etc. And so we have a bunch of these little uh, plug receptacles. So we'll have wires coming out of here and then we'll have a plug and then there will be wires from the bus and those two are plugged together. And for the sake of if we never re need to um, do this, we can just unplug it. We don't have to like cut it all off or undo every single one of these because that would be annoying. Um, the other thing that we got here is this is a step converter. This takes uh, 12 volt and steps it down to the 5 volt. So all of this runs on 5 volt. All of the LEDs run on 12 volt. And then the other thing that we have is the bus itself is 24 volt. So what these are, these are giant buck converters. And this takes an input and has an output. So our input is 24 volt and our output is 12 volt. Each one of these will do 40 amps. So we have 80 amps at 12 volt output through each buck converter. Now we have two for the simple case of if one fails, we have a spare. Because if one of these fails or the Arduino fails or a relay board fails or something like that, then we won't have lights. That would suck. So that's what we're working on. Um, also watched another video um, from the channel beginning this morning, uh, he talks about redundancy and one of the things that he did is we will have a very small battery bank just for the sake of having a battery bank on our inverter. And when that battery bank gets charged by the inverter, we will take those 24 volts and run these to the buck converters and step them down to uh, 12 volts so we can run our 12 volt systems. The thing is, is if those, if that small battery bank dies, we won't have lights and that would suck. Um, so what he put together on his bus um, and 
has kind of detailed out really well is kind of doing the same thing as these relay boards, but for each input, AKA his 24 volt battery bank, he has his RV batteries come in and then he has his uh, house batteries. So you have two different battery banks and you run it through a relay and you, a relay has two states. It has always on and then it has off. And if you think about it, if your house batteries are dead and you can't power the relay, then you need to take the always off and run that out to these converters. So what will basically happen is, is when the, if the house batteries are dead, the relays will fail over to the RV batteries, assuming that we have the big master switch turned on. So if something happens to our inverter, something happens to our battery bank, a fuse, a switch, etc., we can always fail over to the RV, I'm calling it RV, but we can always fail over to the bus batteries that normally start the engine. Now you don't wanna to hook to those all the time because if somebody leaves a, leaves a light on and you kill your bus batteries, then you can't start your bus and that sucks. So that's what we're kind of doing tonight and hopefully we'll be throwing it in this weekend. Peace. Thanks for watching, subscribe.